use that. This is the shut the hell up horn. When I want you to shut the hell up, I'm going to do this. Got the teeth. Y'all aren't shutting the hell up. When, I, when you hear this, you shut up. All right, so I'm going to take roll. Yo, that's a big pencil, Teach. Yeah, I hear that all the time. Oh, uh, Teach, you're nasty. All right, so when I say your name, you say here. Miss Jimenez. Here. Mr. Jimenez. Yep. You say here. Here. Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson? Miss Thompson, give me, give me the phone. Come again. Oh, well, I can't grab it now. Well, why not, Teach? Go get it. Because I can't go get it. Because she put the phone in her pencil. I can't. She's a girl. I, I, I gotta assume she's a girl. Listen. Oh, you made me drop my pencil. Okay, back to roll. Miss Thompson with the phone. Okay. Mr. Miller. Here. Mr. Miller, you, you didn't get enough sleep last night? It's not that, Teach. It's, I asked this guy to hang out, and he said no. I really don't want to hang out with him. Why not? Cause I'm busy. All right, I don't want to hear any more of this. All right, Mr. Because I'm ugly. Mr. Jimenez, you should be nice to your classmate. Teach, I really don't want to hang out with him. This is the kind of thing that makes me want to put wasp nests in people's shirts. Oh, Mr. Miller, you don't have to be like that. All right, class. Today we're going to be learning the difference between a bee and a wasp. So a bee is crazy. So when a bee stings you, it actually dies. So if you get stung by a bee, you should be very grateful because he gave his life for you. Kind of like Jesus. So bees are like Jesus. Bees okay. are Jesus. Yeah. 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 Yes. So wasp, these MFers are, are crazy. They can sting you over and over and over. Ah! Mr. Jimenez! Sit down. Mr. Jimenez, sit down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mr. Jimenez, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mr. Jimenez, what are you doing? Mr. Jimenez, stop it. You're acting ridiculous. You're acting, stop it. What are, what are you? Teach, look at me. What? Look at me. What? Dude, please, someone put a, someone put a wasp nest in my shirt. What? Now, who would do that? What? Wait, would someone put a wasp nest in your shirt? Yes, it, it hurts. The wasp does it, does it sting? Does it, does it sting? Kind of like rejection? What? Teach. Teach, it was him. I, no, it was not. Mr. Miller, did you put a wasp nest in Mr. Jimenez's shirt? No, Teach. If I put a wasp nest in his shirt, don't you think I would have stings all over my hands? Oh, uh, that's a good point. Yeah, your hands are really nice. Yeah. Thank you. I lotion them, yeah. well, mainly just my right one. But... Mr. Jimenez, Mr. Miller did not put a wasp nest in your shirt. Teach! Teach look at me. He literally said he was going to put a wasp nest in someone's shirt, and he did it on me! Oh, yeah. Where would I even find a wasp nest? Uh, yes, Mr. Jimenez, where would he find a wasp nest? It's not like this is a, a wasp pet store. I, I don't know. Uh, Mr. Jimenez, go to the clinic and get your wasp stings checked out, and then go to the principal's office for getting naked in class. <laughs> wow. Wow, Teach. Wow, go. Oh, oh, yo, you know what? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Mr. Miller, you're safe. You're, get, get out. Get out. That's your you you need it you need it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, well alright, okay. Thanks for having my back, Teach. I really thought he was gonna kill me. I know, Mr. Miller, you would never do such a thing. I wouldn't. My precious baby. Thank you you, you wouldn't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, class. Sorry for that uh, 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 interruption. I don't oh, crazy teach. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Maybe he was walking to school and a wasp nest fell out of a tree into his shirt. Yeah, I mean, a tree. Yeah, so anyway, back to the lesson class. Like I said, get stung by a bee, be grateful. That's why it says be grateful and get stung by a wasp. Well, he's just gonna, he's just gonna kill you. He's gonna keep stinging you over and over and over again. The next day. Hey, so how are those wasp things? It hurts. Well, 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 Mr. Jimenez. Nice to see you wearing clothes today. Wow, thanks, Teach. Like, I want to get naked in front of the whole class and get stung by wasps. Well, maybe if you weren't playing with wasps, you wouldn't have gotten stung. I did it! Okay, shut up. All right, I'm going to take roll. Miss Jimenez. Here. Mr. Jimenez. Uh-huh. You say, here. Here! Miss Thompson. Okay. She never said here! She's on her phone! So you let her use her phone? She can use her phone because she's a girl because if I try to grab it, she's going to put it in her pants. Well, you got it with me? Shut up! Mr. Miller. 
Mr. Miller. Uh, has anyone seen Mr. Miller? I can text him if you want. Yeah, text him and ask him if he's coming to class. We all love him and we want him here. <laughs> Whoa, what? You're gonna use your phone? I asked oh him. Oh my god, he's dead! What? He's totally dead! He's in the car! He got really? What's wrong with you? Why are you smiling? Wait, Miss, Mr. Miller, you're happy that Mr. Miller is dead? Yes, because I got stuck my walk by him and now he's dead by car. Karma, right guys? How can you Mr. Jimenez, you are not going to be smiling over another student's death. He was a good person. He was a bad person. No, while he every, wasn't. Yeah, what, while yeah. everyone was away, when everyone was away, he went to other people's backpacks and stole people's lunch money. He's insane. How could you just speak like that about him? He's yeah, dead. Yeah. We're talking about this now. Oh, the day he, that he, he, got, he got hit by a car, Mr. Jimenez. And whose fault was that? His. He was walking in the middle of the night. Alone with no life, got ran over by a car. His fault. Oh, you know what? I can't take this anymore. I'm totally emotionally distressed. You can leave today. Okay. Today is National Cry Over Miller's Death Day because he was the best student in the world. He was actually a really bad student. You, you shut up, Mr. Jimenez. Why are you being so mean to the nicest, most amazing student we've ever had? He never did a single bad thing, no referrals, no anything. If he wasn't such a bad person, why did he put a wasp nest in my shirt? He did it to him! He did! He did! You he did. 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 Me even didn't do it! I actually would have liked him! Okay, maybe if you would have hung out with him, maybe if you would have hung out with him, he wouldn't have got hit by a car. He was a freak! Okay! <laughs> Okay. You guys got it? Yeah. Oh, good. All right. The desk? Oh. There's the desk. All right. All right, guys. Oh. Okay, don't. You're, you're pregnant. You need to stop it. I forgot. Okay, well. Okay. I'm, I'm pregnant. It's heavy. I'm pregnant, too. I'll, I'll look it up later. Okay. I gotta tell the story. All right, guys. So, this skit was actually based on a true story. I think this was the most based on a true story it's ever been based on. Yeah, but most accurate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a story. So, when we were a freshman in high school, me and Chili had reading class together. We did. So, we were in reading class, and I was sitting next to my friend Nathan, and you know, we're all just reading. We were, we were doing an assignment. The class was really quiet. And then out of nowhere, I hear, <laughs> And it's coming from behind. So we we all turn around and look behind us, and there's this girl getting completely naked in class. Like she is taking off shirt, bra, underwear, and like gets completely naked in class, and we're all staring. And the teacher's like, What are you doing? And she just is screaming while grabbing her body. Well, uh, earlier in the day, a kid, or I guess right before class, a kid had put a wasp nest in her hoodie. So she had a hoodie and the kid put a wasp nest in like the hoodie part. So I don't know how the wasp didn't sting her before class, but during class, the wasp had gotten inside her hoodie and started stinging her. And so she took all her clothes off in class and like the, the, it, was, the, it, was a, it was a huge, crazy thing. That's my cat. So if you hear meowing, that's my cat. So the wasp stung her, she took her clothes off in class. So that's the part of the story where Tito started getting stung. Well, actually there's a second part to it. So I remember like I couldn't wait to tell everyone about this. I was like the next class I was like a girl got naked in class and she got stung by a wasp. Well, I go to PE which is my next class and I'm talking to this kid and I'm like, you know, I, I'm about to tell him the story but before I tell him the story he says, bro, I asked this girl out and she told me no so I put a wasp nest in her hoodie. And I went, uh, she was in my class before me and she got stung. Really? Like he was so excited. He was like, really? She, oh, was she in pain? And I'm like, yeah. Uh, she got stung. She got naked. And he was like, oh, wow. How embarrassing. Or whatever. So like, I was like, oh, that's the kid. So the kid that put the wasp nest in her jacket was not a good kid. He, he, not, he wasn't. He, I had PE with him. He would smoke weed behind the gym. He would go in people's backpacks like, and steal everyone's money. He just wasn't, it wasn't, he wasn't a good kid. So a year later in 10th grade, he gets hit by a car and dies, right? And the whole school was crying over this kid. I'm talking everyone. Like girls were crying. He was amazing. He was perfect. And there was this teacher who I was in his class and all the girls were crying about this kid dying. And Mr. Huggins goes, he was not a good person. He shouldn't have been walking in the road at night. Who boo who? And the girls went, who would you say? 
like kind of kind of like this and like i'm sitting there going i personally know for a fact he wasn't a good kid i know i don't i mean but whatever i mean no one deserves to die over it but i'm just saying everyone was freaking out acting like he was god and so everyone was screaming and the teacher like i think the teacher had to be sent home for a few days because like all the girls went to the principal and was like this teacher's making fun of his death and like all this stuff so anyway it was all based on a true story because it happened so I witnessed everything. I, I witnessed all of it. I witnessed the wasp happening, mm -hmm. and then the kid told me he did it. The and then a year later, he got yeah, like. Yeah, and I remember him dying because it was like everywhere. It was like the biggest news. So, so yeah. So anyway, this is this was a skit I wanted to do for a long time. We just needed enough people for it. Um, but actually, the last name of the girl who got the wasp done, her name, her last name was Thompson. So, so you know, we we can't use a girl for this skit because we don't want a girl getting naked on YouTube. <laughs> so Tito. Uh, what was it like taking your clothes off in class? It was kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, guys, that actually happened. So we're going to be doing a lot more school skits. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until we got to go out of town again this weekend and yeah. the weekend after. Man, like, like, she's just on everyone. <laughs> I know. So anyway, guys, um, what would you do if you had a wasp nest in your jacket during class? Would you get naked or would you just get stung or what would you do? Uh, I want to know everyone's answers on that. Okay, but ask him the one million dollar question. How did the guys? Okay, so here's the one thing. Here's one thing that I think is very impressive. And I, when we were filming this skit, it made me question how. So we we made a joke about it. So how in real life the kid put a wasp nest in her hoodie before class? How did he grab a wasp nest without getting stung? Put it in her hoodie without getting stung. Like like. Tito, like I'm talking, like let's say I'm him. Let's say there's a wasp nest in that corner. So I go up and I grab the wasp nest without the wasp stinging me. Then I have to go find the girl in the hallway, or find her anywhere, and put it in her hoodie without you feeling it and without anyone telling her, hey, that guy just put something in your hoodie. Like how, I'm actually very impressed with how he did How did he do it? I don't know. I'll never be able to ask him, but how did he do it? Boy got skills. No, that was skill. He might, he, because he wasn't complaining that, oh, my hands got stung doing it. He, he was like, I did it. <laughs> he was like, I did it. I would love to know how he did it. Hey, and sorry, Miss Thompson. Did he ever get caught? No, no. You I, didn't snitch? No. He, 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 you guys first. heard it here first. SML's not a narc. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would ask me to be lookout at the gym while he would steal me out of people's backpacks. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Because he wanted, he, <laughs> no. he would go steal everyone's lunch money. And, oh, he just, he was funny, but I'm saying, like, he, he, he stole a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stole anyway, well, the story's not about him dying. It's about the reaction about everyone was like, he was a saint. This was such a crazy story. It wasn't even exaggerated. No, this was, I, I don't think, I don't think we exaggerated anything about this. That's the thing. This is all really realistic. Except for the girl didn't, Tito knew who did it. The girl didn't know who did it. You know, yeah. And the kid wasn't in the classroom when she got naked. You know. Oh yeah. Anyway, has anything ever happened like this at your school? Has anyone ever got naked in class? <laughs> and then the person who did it died? Yeah, it's a very it's a long list. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed this school skit. We're gonna be making a lot more. Uh, say bye, Teeds. Bye. Guys. Oh, show them your shirt. Show them. Show them all the the, the, the commitment. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, you guys never saw this part, but look here. Look. <laughs> oh yeah, he had stings on his back too. It just, I was, when I was trying to take off my shirt, I couldn't. So I was like, I was like trying to drag it. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next vlog. I'm going to make them see her. Oh, oh she's oh. running. Oh, there she is. Oh, she came down to say hi.